Hello, my most amazing artists. Have you ever wanted to tell a story with your art, but you just couldn't get the characters down and you just kept getting hung up on how they looked? And by the time you drew one, you couldn't draw another one and it just went all crazy. Well, today we're gonna learn how to make some really easy characters so you can tell a story with your art, the story that you wanna tell, whatever that may be. So come along with me, grab a pencil and some paper, and let's go. Hey, arty friends. Today we are going to learn to draw a very simple character that you can use to inhabit your comics, your stories, your books that you make, notes that you take at school, your journal, your notebook. It's gonna be really fun. A cartoonist named Ivan Bernetti um, started this and he says, a lot of people have a hard time getting past drawing the character. And I agree, I have that issue too. So he said, just do the simplest you can to get started. So we're gonna do a circle for the head and this is gonna be a, a step above the stick man. So stick man is just a circle for a head and just like that. This is gonna be a step above. And then we're gonna do kind of a little boxy round shape for the body. And then we wanna do really easy legs and arms. Then you can embellish this by putting clothes on this person. I don't know why, but I'll make him like maybe like a James Bond kind of spy, gentleman spy character. And you can put hair. And a nose. And some eyes. And a mouth. You know, he kind of looks like Dracula. Let's just give him fangs. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's do another one. So I'm gonna do a round circle for the head. Oops. Then my body, let's do a dress. Well, it's kind of a dress. Then some arms. Let's see, let's make our arms going out like this. Maybe this person's dancing. And we'll give it some hair. Oh, beautiful hair. How about a bow? Let's do this face facing the front. So you can put a circle for a nose, circle for eyes, and a mouth. And maybe she's up on her tippy toes dancing. These can just be really simple, guys. They don't have to be complicated. The best thing about these is when you're drawing a comic strip, you can easily draw the same one over and over. That's probably the hardest thing about cartooning or doing comics is getting your character to look the same in each square. And when we do some comic strip drawing, you'll see what I'm talking about. So this way you can control that a little easier. So I'm gonna draw a little girl with braids. Give her some freckles. I give her some girl eyes. And as you'll see, I can just pretty much draw the same thing over here. Can you guys see? And as long as I keep these details pretty much the same, whoever's looking at my comic is gonna realize this is the same character. Even if she looks different, or maybe she's holding something. Oh, let's just make her holding a piece of paper or something. And I can even make her running. Let's see, so my legs are gonna bend. And when you run, your arms are bent too, and they're held out to your sides. So this is gonna be the side of her head. And her braids trailing behind her because she's running. 
And I can go ahead and fix her legs. It might be a little too long, but that's okay. I could always fix that later. And there you go. It's my same character and she's doing different things. Okay, let's do an animal. So animals are a little bit harder. So most mammals you're gonna draw have a body in the middle and a neck. This is gonna be a dog. And you can just draw the same thing. Simple, simple arms and legs. Simple tail. You can draw floppy ears or ears standing up. Put his tongue sticking out and maybe a nose. There you go. All right, let's do maybe a bad guy because usually comics have some kind of bad guy in them. So let's do a bad guy character besides our uh, vampire guy. So let's see, let's do the round head and let's have him have a long body with little short legs, that would be cute. <laughs> And he's got to look grouchy, right? So we're gonna give him grouchy eyebrows. And if you will put the eyes right underneath those grouchy eyebrows, they'll look really grouchy. There we go. A long nose <laughs> and a grouchy face. <laughs> he kind of looks like a Muppet from Sesame Street. I love it. Um, maybe some ears. I don't know. I think he should be bald. He looks pretty good like that. <laughs> so there's an evil guy. All right, you guys, you can take this basic shape, just the circle and the body, and you can go many different ways with it. And it frees you up to let you be creative with your comics. And the more you practice this and the more you get this, the more details and the more complicated you can make this. This really helps if you're gonna do a storyboard first for your comic or lay out what's gonna happen in your comic and then draw your comic. We'll do that here in the comic video coming up. All right, guys, good luck to you, have fun. Bunny break time again. This little girl loves to eat. Look at her ears, you guys are so beautiful. She's so sweet. Can you hear her chewing? Yeah, she won't even really pay attention to me after I fed her in the morning because she's just like chowing dick. <laughs> Bye, Gravy. I did forget to mention one thing. I have my pen here because once you are done, you can always go over this with ink. Oh, my pen's not working. There we go. You can go over this with ink. I'm going to ink it up, and it'll be a lot more easy to see and you can kind of go over any mistakes and correct them there you go 